Hey, what's going on my fellow superstars? Welcome back to another video here on WWE Undefeated. My name is Jonathan Snow and today guys, this is going to be a rather big discussion video and there's going to be some positives, some negatives, and I'm going to give you guys my overall thoughts and opinions on the life of this game. So with that being said, let's just get this started. So there's going to be no gameplay video, but there's going to be a lot of uh visual looks and just give you guys my opinions and my thoughts on what's going on currently so today is december 5th of 2021 uh this is a sunday um that i'm recording this video and first thing first there was a one year anniversary for this game a lot of you may not even know that because there was no no uh, announcement at all in game uh, on their official uh twitter um instagram i think they have facebook also and even on their discord uh even on their website too the official website for this game wwe undefeated there's nothing in it um for those who don't know the official one year anniversary for this game was december the 3rd of 2021 which is two days ago and today's the 5th of december uh, last year, December the 3rd of 2020, this game's official release date was that. So now we're one year later, and there's been a lot of improvements, which is good. And there's been some negatives, which is not good. And so we're going to discuss what happened within the whole year's time of WWE's Undefeated's, you know, lifespan. So first things first, we're going to go to one of my old YouTube videos. So let's go ahead and uh, there's going to be some visual things here we're gonna go ahead and pop this in okay so uh you can see here on my official channel i have you know a playlist and stuff like that uh on the official uh release of this game there was literally only what is this five six seven there was only eight characters <laughs> eight characters eight or should i say wrestlers eight superstars from the get-go so we had the rock drew mcintyre finn balor Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and The Fiend. Obviously, some character, uh, some superstars are going to be here that's been released from WWE uh, from the from the past time, but you know they're still in the game, which is cool. Uh, first thing first, I want to make an announcement: is that we, uh, whoever was in WWE undefeated, like such as The Fiend, um, if you guys are just joining Undefeated right now. You probably will never get him because when a wwe superstar is released from the company they are no longer available to get in the game if you're just downloading it for the first time so for instance the fiend or we have braun Strowman, or we're going to show later on uh those superstars have been uh released and i think there was a time window there was like a month until if you didn't download the game for like just just giving you just a random um estimate so for instance if March was Braun Strowman's release. You only have until maybe the end of April to download the game and then to be able to get, you know, a shot, be, being able to be able to unlock him. And then from there, you can get him forever because he'll be officially in the game. You already unlocked him and then that's it. But if you download the game after April, <clears throat> which will be May. So say, for example, if you just get into the game in May and then Braun Strowman was in the game, but now he's been released and you already lost your opportunity. So that's how that goes. Um, just like a rough estimate of, uh, you know, uh, or just a rough example of what happens when a superstar is released from the game and no longer been available to get if you're just downloading the game for the first time. Um, with that being said, so we only have, was it five, six, seven, eight superstars? If we actually look at the game right now, we actually have way more than that now. Which is pretty cool. I really do like this. I wish you can actually sort this by like order, which is another negative I have of quality of life update. So now we officially have what is it? One, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. We have thirty-two superstars. Thirty-two. That's very exciting. We have characters or superstars from uh, from past present and even now like such for instance you know we just got ultimate warrior this past friday for the one year anniversary which is pretty hype and then you know you know and then we got you know macho man and stuff like that we just recently got hulk hogan really awesome 
You know what I mean? Then we have people like Braun Strowman that used to be with the company, which is no longer in the company no more. Uh, so, same thing as like Keith Lee. Keith Lee no longer in, you know, WWE. So we used to have characters like that. So with that being said, here's my next thing with the game. So we're going to go jump off the game here and we're probably going to go on Twitter now. And we're going to take a look on the Twitter page here. So this is their official Twitter page. This was their official tweet on WWE Undefeated. On November 5th, this was the first time they ever announced the game. Coming in December 2020, you can see here, you'll be able to get the game, which is pretty cool, which I thought which was pretty hype. Um, this was something that I was not expecting Endway to do. Uh, for those who don't know who Endway is, they're also known for Power Rangers Legacy Wars, a game that's been out for almost five years, coming um, late March. So... You know them picking up a wwe game and having the same combat style game is pretty cool too so i thought I, I you know i had a very high hopes for this game uh we could continue going here they they were making more announcements stuff like that there's been some content creators that they were tweeting out that some people actually just never made content for the game after being tweeted out uh so we're gonna keep going here and you know surprisingly too by the way for fun fact anyway never contact me me being one of the most um viewed viewed youtubers for their legacy wars content they never even contacted me about this game i had to just randomly find out myself so that's a fun fact as well uh <laughs> they got people here you know making you know they were like the first ones of making content but yet they're not even playing the game anymore after one year unlike myself just saying <laughs> maybe you guys should do some research on content creators uh but with that being said um so eventually i got into the game too and then you know they started tweeting out all the good stuff uh why am i bringing this up here so they were very active on the twitter which is pretty cool and you know here they have like available three days from the launch two days tomorrow and then december 3rd that's when the game officially got released for global for everyone for apple and google store so with that being said, uh, why I am on Twitter? Well, one thing is, one good thing about this game that I really did enjoy was when they were bringing out brand new characters. I'm trying to find, like, a spoiler here. Uh, they were hyping out, like, John Cena. John Cena officially came out, too, which was nice. Like, about, like, like, two weeks later when the game came out. I'm just trying to find the batch of superstars, which I thought was really awesome. Like, they had the silhouettes for the characters. Here we go. So they would have, I, I think this is such a fun, a fun thing to do is having silhouettes and then you're trying to guess who are the characters that are coming into the game. I think that's super fantastic. Unlike Legacy Wars, they don't do this. Um, I think this is super awesome and super fun. This is a great, you know, a great little thing to make content for, which I really do like. So that's something that I did like what Enway was doing with the game as far as like re character reveals. And then you can see here, here goes the first batch of superstars. Um, then they also tweeted out, uh, we used to, as far as releases, they were doing uh, two superstars a month, which was great. So as far as making content wise, you were able to, uh, you know, make some good quality content for the most part, something like that, because then you'll have, you know, two superstars every two weeks, you'll be able to uh, make some type of content for them. And then you'll have, uh, you know, next superstar coming out next month. So every, basically, a good thing with anyway is every month there was at least two superstars. And then they decided to, starting at the end of this year of 2021, they started reverting that back to one superstar every month. Which I think is kind of whack because then that means now from having 24 superstars... Because if you're doing 2 times 12, it's 24. So you'll have 24 superstars uh, within a year's time. But now if they're reverting back to one superstar a month, which is we have 12 months in a year, which means we're only going to get 12 superstars a month, uh, or 12 superstars a year. So we're knocking that down by half. Which kind of sucks because now making content is even worse. So... That is a negative with this game as well. Um, lack of superstars is one thing. 
Um, also to lack of con uh, and then also to I want to bring up uh, later on during the year uh, They had a lot of balance updates. I don't know how frequent this this doesn't seem very frequent because if we actually go to the official WWE undefeated website If we actually look at news here It seems like balance updates happen. It seemed like it was like once a month and then you see then we have like the ninth year and then we had the eighth here balance update. So there was a lot of issues with the game before where, you know, some animations weren't happening, you know, you know, apparent and stuff like that. But, you know, you go through the, the woes and pains of getting a new game and stuff like that. So one thing I did like back when they actually started was once, uh, you know, they do frequent patch updates, which is nice to fix up the issues. Um, they were very vocal on their discord. Uh, well, another cool thing another cool feature within the year's time uh, They introduced Victory Road where you, every time you league up you actually can actually get some cool rewards So I thought Victory Road was a fantastic addition to the game. You know, those a one-time thing uh, But you know, it, it's a cool way to get some free stuff in the in the game here and then you actually have the class moves update which which was really nice to happen in was it april of of 2021 so you have technician acrobat powerhouse and brawler so now every class has class specific moves i think this was a great addition to the game's update so that was a really good quality of life now you know instead of having powerhouses doing super kicks now only acrobats can actually do that so some people thought it was a negative but i thought it kind of makes sense because er otherwise you're literally going to have the same movesets for every single character because super kick was super ridiculous as well as like elbow drop and stuff. Those are just really classic moves that are really fantastic. And um, so, you know, making that to a class specific uh, wrestler, you know, or a class specific, you know, moveset is definitely really nice. So I definitely did like that added change there as far as their updates. Uh, so then we go into further more here. Let's take a look here. Uh, you got some more balance updates some more character releases and then you have the start um, Function friendly matches. Okay, so now they have things with alliances So now when you were with an alliance and then you could do friendly battles this happened in was it the 8th? July and August so August of 2021 of this year. We finally got Friendly matches, but you only could do friendlies in alliances. That is so lame like, I don't understand. This is the same company that had the same build as far as, like, uh, Legacy Wars. Again, a five, almost a five-year-old game, and you cannot add friendly functions as a random custom thing, but you have to be in somebody's alliance to do friendly battles. I think that's un that, that just makes no sense. You know what I mean? Like, you guys have the information. You guys have the same... It, it might not be the same, you know, group of people that are doing Legacy Wars with Undefeated, but it's still the same umbrella of company. You could be like, hey, how do you do this and add it to our game? Like, it's not that difficult. So this is definitely unforgiven for them. This is something that should have been in the game for like day one. Because, you know, as far as if I want to make content or play with my viewers, I would have to literally leave my my main alliance to make a, a random alliance to play with people on customs on live stream which is absolutely ridiculous it just makes no sense as far as making content wise so this is pretty dumb i think that they should have a custom friendly match no matter what alliance you're in that you can play with anybody and they could just take the code so again that's pretty dumb uh then they actually added the that same month on the 9th of that month uh we actually have showboats so then we actually have a brand new class which is pretty cool i definitely like how they are adding new um class specific types of characters so so now since we have from previously we had uh technicians acrobats powerhouses brawlers and now we would have showboats added to the mix which is pretty cool so i thought that was a great addition to the game with this within this past year's time and then we're going to jump into later on. We got some more patch notes, more patch notes here. Um, Hulk Hogan, Bobby Lashley, more patch notes, and then, um, you know, Ultimate Warrior. So that will be that. Then we're going to jump back into the game here. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Oh, we'll close that out. There we go. So we jump back into the game here. 
and this is my big gripes with the game so we have not only we have the league matches and stuff like that which is pretty cool so you can see with your superstars collect the victory road that's pretty cool uh we did have a battle box every day you can do battle box and these rewards upgrade depending on high how high in the league you are which is really nice so that's pretty cool uh then we actually have missions that you can do every single day you have daily check-ins and you can do your like i think there's like three or four or five missions you could do every day get some cool stuff for free which i think that, that's that's awesome every 24 hours just refreshes that's pretty cool and then we actually have the upgraded boxes so every time you actually win matches uh this moves very very slowly and slightly and then you can actually get these boxes and then you know there'll be time locked um which is pretty cool i guess uh it makes you log into the game so that way you can you know unlock your stuff and then you know uh you know claim rewards every you can actually queue up too which is nice so that way you actually have to log in after a certain amount of hours one thing i don't like is that they don't tell you the percents like this should be like what 80 percent maybe 90 percent like i don't understand how hard it is to make a percentage so that way you can see how much percent is happening here at the current time uh that's one thing that's that's annoying um shops uh now they, they actually added shops where every day uh you can actually purchase stuff um some things are are priced reasonably some things are just like doesn't make sense um also to so ultimate warrior came out this doesn't make any sense either battle books ten thousand battle books for 5.99 you can get the two times and then same thing battle books for you get ten thousand battle books you could do it two times and this is two bucks so again inconsistency in the store makes absolutely no sense um again here again with their bundle deals as well this is just pretty dumb you get no battle bucks at all you get no gold you're getting 25 you're paying 25 dollars for one legendary shard and then just a couple of shards for it to upgrade his movesets by one level but you get nothing else like you need battle bucks in order to upgrade so again another negative about their system and you get no gold at all like there's no gold value unless you're actually straight up buying gold there's no like type of gold bundle deals it, it's just it's just so it feels like so pay to win heavy as far as like upgrading your characters because it's so obnoxiously expensive and if you actually go to roster here and if you actually want to like level up movesets here like this is costing sixteen thousand battle bucks for a level 11 and then if we go to info here and then it costs twenty thousand battle bucks. I can I can't even imagine how much it costs for like a level thirteen max upgrade because level thirteen is your max as well. So again, another thing I don't know like it just doesn't seem super pay to super free to play friendly, but it can be at times because actually getting shards in this game is pretty easy in a sense because if a brand new character comes out. It takes about four weeks for you to get them to come out of premium. So that's actually not bad. Unlike Legacy Wars, I believe it's every six months you get the premium character that you have to wait. So, you know, if I'm free to play, if Warrior came out in December, I just have to wait until January for Warrior to be out as a completely random loot drop. So I think in that aspect, it's pretty cool for free to play. So you actually get access to it within a month's time. It's actually way better than six months. <laughs> so i think in that aspect that's pretty pretty reasonable um for me that actually pays for the character i would me personally just because i want to just don't want to face infinite of ultimate warriors i would like to like hopefully this get it push push later so that way you know people that are buying it you know has a little bit more of a you know rewarding for actually purchasing and you know making the game stay alive a lot longer um next thing is factions uh there's nothing with factions to do with factions like factions is super super rough like it's you know like you get a faction and then as a reward this i think this actually like every four or five days you compete with each other and then the only thing that you get out of it is battle bucks times two and faster unlock by 50 percent. and i think this actually happens to like for the first couple of top teams so it doesn't even reward you for being the first place winner. You actually don't get any incentive, like you don't get like additional shards or anything like that. Like you don't you don't get one of these 
uh, what do you call these? I don't even know what you call these things. Um, the, like heavyweight box, like you don't get them. Let's see what they're called. Uh, super weight box, heavyweight box, epic box. Like you don't get these as rewards for being the number one faction, which is super lame. I I don't understand why would they even like not give you anything. But again, that's just ridiculous. And then what I also want to come up to is leagues. Uh, no, not leagues. Uh, rankings. How do you even check your ranking? I totally forget. Um. Wow, I think it's this, right? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, for like local and global rankings, this is just so bad. We're over one year, and there is still no end of season rewards. Like, how does that even make sense? Like, there's no rewards over one year at a end. I think a season is like almost twenty five days or something like that. It's like once a month. And there is no end of season rewards for the ranking that you place. So you can't even, it doesn't even benefit you being on the top of the leaderboard. On top of that, uh, there's people here like this guy, the PR9. Like you cannot even play against them because they're actually out of the region. Of where, so if you're, so I, I'm from the US. So if I'm trying to fight someone from, I don't know, Asia, I can't even fight them. I can't even take their medals and, you know, and punish them for being like number one i can't even i could never ever play against this person it's super lame yes of course uh there is a new game mode setting uh new settings where you could do cross region on but if you give the people the players the opportunity to turn this off or turn it on whenever they please to like if i'm number one in the rankings and i'm like from asia i'm like i'm number one i don't want to play nobody from no states so i'm gonna shut this off and never play against them and always be number one that's super lame this should always be on and not an option at all to turn it off, turn it on. This should always be on completely. So again, another one of my gripes about this game, like you just, why is this even a, a thing? You should o automatically have this on with no function of turning it off. Just simple for, because this, this becomes a fake, a fake ranking because you can never compete for the first place prize. Neither know there is no first place prize. It's just bragging rights at this at this uh at this point. So that's <laughs> to me that's just so so dumb. And then also too, I want to point out the lack of content in this game. There is no content. And for anybody that says characters is content, you are absolutely wrong. Characters are not content. This is just add-ons to you know to keep you playing. There's literally nothing as far as for over a year in this game's lifespan that there's nothing to compete for factions is a joke it doesn't do anything for you and there's no way to play against other people except just by playing rank all the time and that's it like there's there's literally nothing else in this game to do it's so plain jane it's not even funny like over a year's time you have not done anything as far as like making the game interesting for me to log in except doing dailies and even then doing dailies i don't even do that every day <laughs> like seriously it just makes no sense so i know this is a long winded video but it's just like the lack of them even saying happy one year anniversary thank you for supporting wwe undefeated here's a free thing um like it's just it's so it's such a slap in the face for anybody who's actually put money into the game or even even time because time is worth more than money because you only have a limited time so like just for having people play your game and there's no acknowledgement of your one year anniversary it just makes it so ridiculously dumb and again like i said this is just my thoughts and my opinions and definitely make a conversation on the comment section of this video but I don't know it's just i do like again i do like some of the updates that the game has made which was really great and again like i said they they did some good things with the past year for like updates and characters and adding a couple of little things here and there uh but this game definitely needs a lot more help um there's still features there is still there's still no feature to re-watch your matches like in legacy wars you can re-watch a match you can't there's no there's no looking at you know past matches to see what people were doing 
um there's no forward pause rewinds for video there's like nothing like that even like and again i don't understand like what happens if there's another thing too if you max out a character i don't know uh, there's some people max out stuff here i don't even, i don't know if you can even tell i know i know there's gotta be some people here that has maxed out stuff um but if nobody's maxed out like if you max out your character at level 13 what happens with the rest of those you know shards what do you do with them there's no shop here to exchange you know your you know your maxed out units like if i maxed out for instance if i maxed out kevin Owens to 13 and if i get any more shards of him what do i do with those extra shards do they just go to the abyss and just get just deleted and just completely non-existent that makes no sense like you should be able to trade in your extra shards to get like extra things like currency like for instance give me some can i exchange my sh extra shards for more battle bucks so i actually can upgrade my roster like do something like that or let me exchange certain character for other characters i need to uh, upgrade you know what i mean it's just there is there's so much quality of life that you can do in this game it just baffles me that it's not even in the game yet for after a year's time so again like there's there's so much more um but you know this is just stuff to, uh, off the top of my head so again thank you guys so much for watching this is almost a 30 minute video of me ranting about the one year anniversary just to sum it up once again ultimately the game has done some it, do, it has done some great things within the past year especially with the roster um i think the roster lineup is pretty good obviously there's some more stuff i want to see and another thing we're all the female wrestlers <laughs> over a year later and there's not a single female wrestler again i just another, i just can't i don't know <laughs> like i get it you don't want to have guys versus girls uh, or guys versus women whatever you want to call it you don't want to have the two sexes fight against each other but for crying out loud this is a video game it, it's 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 literally pixels so pixels fighting pixels so to me i don't care i would i don't care if i have andre the giant versus trish stratus i don't care <laughs> just give me a new character uh, a new female uh, superstar it's like come on <laughs> and also another thing i i, I now it's just like playing in my head why we don't have costumes for characters why can i not get hollywood hulk hogan <laughs> seriously why can i not do that why can i not get the skin for demon finn balor why why can i not get different color skins for john cena uh he has not he has not this is like a super outdated uh color scheme for john cena like he should have like 15 different outfits can i get thugonomics john cena please thank you mankind can i get do love here like uh and uh what's the other one? Oh my goodness the other one i'm forgetting about Oh my goodness <laughs> are you guys gonna roast me but yeah can i get the other outfits of mankind macho man savage uh can i get all other color schemes that he has like come on let's just let's just you know i don't know again there's so many things that they can add to this game which is super easy and they just choose not to or they have to go through some type of rigor mode to get approval and that's pretty probably pretty lame too uh but yeah so i don't know again uh, this is just a few things a few you know reactions i have but again ultimately within the one year's time yes i'm happy of the improvements but i am very i'm more disappointed as far as content wise and the lack of just attention to detail and quality of life updates for this game uh there within the year's time you can definitely have done a lot more so again Thank you guys so much for watching happy one year anniversary to wwe undefeated which was on december 3rd of 2021 uh, again thank you guys so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching for this past year um i i do apologize there is not consistent content but it's just i cannot see myself as a content creator just to make content out of thin air you have to give me something to make content for and if you don't do that there won't be no content for the game so at least from me so again guys thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts on the comments below and if you guys listen to all of this like almost 30 minutes of me ranting and me explaining some of my core you know you know ideas and explanation and thoughts let me know let me know that you listen all the way to the end <laughs> say i'm still hashtag i'm still here listening
um again you are the real mvp thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next video of wwe undefeated peace